Spurs hosting the Hawks, and the Spurs are plus 328 on the money line. The Hawks are minus 430. The Hawks are 9.5 point favorites, and the over-under is at 243. The Hawks won the last game they played. The Spurs have lost the last two games that they've played. Before you bet on this game, go to a game a site like VegasInsider.com. It'll allow you to compare all the casino's pricings in one place. Go to Covers.com. It'll allow you to compare every gambling stat imaginable. And then go to Twitter. Go to Underdog NBA and see what players are actually playing in this game. Head to head, the road team is 6-4 and four in their 10 meetings. The Hawks are 6-4 and four against the Spurs in their last 10. The underdog is 7-3 and three against the spread. The underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line. The over-under is 5-5. Five and five. And the under 243 is 8-2 in their last 10 meetings. The last game they played, the Hawks won 125-106. The game before that, the Spurs won 136-121 in Atlanta. The game before that, the Hawks won 124-106 in San Antonio. And the game before that, the Hawks won 134-129 in, Atla- uh, in San Antonio. Now, in their last handful of games overall, the Hawks are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. They are 3-7. and seven uh, four and six against the spread, forgive me. And the over is six and four in their last 10. We have had 246, 251, 259, and 221 points. Now, I imagine that this is whether or not Trey Young plays will, whether or not, will determine whether or not this game goes over or under. And now for the Spurs, they're four and six in their last 10. They are 5-5 five and five against the spread in their last 10. The over has hit in their last three games. And the over is 6-4 and four in their last 10. We've had 246. We have had 265 points, 246 points, and then 192 points. If Trey Young doesn't play in this game, I think the Spurs win. If he does play, I think the Hawks win. So... I'll do this both ways. If Young plays, Hawks with the money line, Spurs with the points, and the over. If he doesn't play, I still think there's going to be no defense. So I would take the Spurs with the money line, the Spurs with the points, and the over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.